Roosh, go after him. It doesn't matter if he gets hurt. But we can go against our immigrant agenda. We can go against the feminist agenda. So we need to get the masses, the idiots who believe the stuff that you write, and put it onto something else. So put it on me. I'm just a scapegoat. And I don't get it. And it's clear to me that you guys haven't done your research. You're ready to write, this guy is pro-rape without knowing where that, where that false idea comes from. I recently published a proposal called How to Stop Rape, and that suggests that if we legalize rape, women will be more careful with their bodies and not go into the private rooms of men that they don't want to have sex with. A year ago, I wrote an article, How to Stop Rape. This article to a 10-year-old was obvious that I didn't intend to legalize rape or cause harm against women. But starting on Sunday, a lot of you have lied by saying, I am a pro-rape advocate. He wants women to get hurt. And I provided, I believe, the arguments that show how legalizing rape would definitely decrease the rapes that we are seeing, including the fake rape of when the girl felt regret uh, the next day. Why would they be against this? Why wouldn't they want less women to be raped? I'm not saying legalize rape so more men can rape. I'm saying legalize rape so less women would be raped. If we legalize rape, women will be more careful with their bodies and not go into the private rooms of men that they don't want to have sex with. Because I am a writer and I write things to make a point. That article was making a point about personal responsibility, that a woman's safety is not only in the hands of men, but it's in their own hands too. That's why. And I guess that point didn't get through. So on that account, I did fail. I failed to give the point. Uh, legalizing rape would definitely decrease rape. Less women would be, would be harmed. Let's sign off on this and make legislation which would legalize rape in a private, a private room. A woman's safety is not only in the hands of men, but it's in their own hands too. If we legalize rape, women will be more careful with their bodies and not go into the private rooms of men that they don't want to have sex with. Have I raped anyone? No. So I would lean more towards a nationalist. So who does that mean? Tra tra tradition, patriarchy, local solutions instead of globalization. So who does that mean you're voting for? Donald Trump comes the closest <laughs> to what I think is, is true. I mean, what's going to happen now? I'm going to be known, because of you, as a pro-rape advocate for the rest of my life. Until I die. Oh, that's the guy that believes all women should be raped. I'm mobile, you know, so... Um, office out of... I've never heard that <laughs> kind of phrase before, but... Uh, Starbucks, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until I die. Oh, that's the guy that believes all women should be raped. There's a bar over here. Let's go for a drink. I can go out right now and drink, which I will. Today is August 8th, 2015. I am in Montreal, Canada. It is currently about 7.30. Degenerate freaks on the internet lied about me all week, falsely accusing me of threatening them, falsely accusing me of a rape threat. But the second I want to do two events in Canada, in Montreal and Toronto, I am facing a whole bunch of resistance and censorship efforts from the degenerate freaks on the far left, the militant left, and they are trying really hard to shut me down and prevent me from even entering the country of Canada. 
I knew there was going to be some issues when a couple weeks ago there was a change.org petition stating that I must not be allowed entry into Canada. And they actually are calling the Canada Border Patrol to prevent me from entering. And as of right now, 12,000 people have signed that. Europe, though, they, if you're into coffee and not getting laid, Europe, though, kills because they're, they know how to make a real cappuccino. You know, here you get a tall cappuccino and you have that little es espresso shot and then you have a gallon of milk. That's not a cappuccino. That's, that's a latte. You know, I got a tall here and it was so much milk, it gave me gas, you know, and usually I don't get gas when I drink milk, but the quantity here was such a big amount. The InfoWars crew absolutely loves coffee because we love being awake. And I am somewhat of a connoisseur of coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, I can now report to you that it's true that I was wrong in the past when I said that this was a rumor, a conspiracy theory. It is true. Uh, President Obama is a radical Muslim and actually does basically pray to Mecca five times a day inside the White House. Uh, I'm not against Muslims in general, but whether it's a PSYOP or whatever, the Secret Service are saying, no, he is a radical Muslim. He's, he is in there. Of course his brother's involved with the Muslim Brotherhood, and of course he gives evidence. I mean, it, it, I covered that in the Obama deception five years ago about Odinga. I mean, Odinga, his cousin, really about like his uncle, uh, I mean, they're like best buddies. Odinga is a criminal. Odinga organized Muslims attacking Christians so, so, that, so that instead of Kenya burning, they would give him a position in the government. This is what Obama does. And yes, he went to a madrasa in Indonesia. Yes, he's been registered as a Muslim. But that's all part of the, how he's everything. He's a Christian. He's a CIA. He's an organizer. He's a Muslim. No, what he is is a devilish person. It's preposterous that Caucasians are blamed for slavery when they've done more to end it than any other race. Look, I'm in the tea business now. I'm a tea expert. Look, I'm in the tea business now. I'm a tea expert. And I happen to know what happens when you boil tea. It gets stronger. That's how you make it stronger. You boil it. You steep it. You leave it in the hot water, and it gets stronger. I drink a lot of coffee. You know, here you get a tall cappuccino and you have that little es espresso shot and then you have a gallon of milk. That's not a cappuccino. That's that's a latte. You know, I got a tall here and it was so much milk, it gave me gas, you know, and usually I don't get gas when I drink milk. But the quantity here was such a big amount. So I would lean more towards a nationalist. So who does that tra tra Tradition, patriarchy local solutions instead of globalization. So who does that mean you're voting for? Donald Trump comes the closest <laughs> to what I think is, is true.